Joy Taylor, you, well, your mom more than you, very publicly, as you <laughs> state on television, um, are Cowboys fans. Your mom, I think, right? My, I am not a Cowboys fan. I don't think your the mom, Cowboys right? fans would appreciate <laughs> you, like, want to go back no, to I didn't say you. Somewhere. I didn't say you. No, no, my mom is a diehard Cowboys fan. That's what it is. I'm like, they either love him or hate him. I forget no, no, your no, mom no. Is... She loves the Cowboys. Okay, but she is. is actually a very rational and reasonable Cowboys fan, <laughs> which makes me have hope that there are a few out there. There's, there's a few of us out there. There's a few. Um, you, us? No. Look, y'all won't let me get away from this theme. So oh I, gotta, I gotta embrace it. Right. Gonna lean into it I gotta point. lean into it. Joy, do you trust what the Cowboys are leaning into? Do you trust the plan? No, and there's no reason anybody should. It's the mm. same thing over and over again. It's a lot of propaganda, if we're being honest. Tell them, Joy. Go ahead. That's, what, what, what is the plan? We just discussed it. And, but like, did we come up with an answer? Like, like, what is the plan? Like, today's point, what's the plan? Like, you have your top player, your all-pro quarterback, playing on a proven deal. Your, your, your coach, you haven't secured CD Lamb, which you could have done. They're never ahead of it when it comes to the money. That's why they're in this situation with Dak to begin with, because they were just so smart. They had to pay Zeke Elliott, which they, they absolutely did not have to do. They cave every single time with stuff like that. That's why they're in the situation with Dak Prescott to begin with, because they paid their quarterback after the running back. That's how we got here today. But at the time, like, this is why I trust the plan. That's why I trust the plan. Mm. Because even at the time, Zeke was a top two player at his position in football. Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott was not near that. Yeah. Zeke was a dog. Now his first round pick, pick up his fifth year option. Making, but like, even paying Zeke before you pay Dak, I, I had no issue. I had Lots no of issues issue. with it. Lots of issues with it. And it's, it's, it, it, most expensive position, most important position in the sport. Like they could have given, because of that, they could have given Dak a very team friendly deal. And because Dak was a fourth round draft pick, he likely would have taken that deal. And, Th is and, there and, a difference in outcome? You feel me? Like yeah, okay, well then, well then, all right, fine. I, I can get. Uh, let's let's say that they they had to do that. Well, I don't feel bad that they're in this situation right now. And then, the, the, like this is this is what, well, you do business that way, the way that, against the way that everybody else does it, and you wind up in this situation. And now you have your your quarterback playing it out. He's going to make a ton of money, whether it is with you or with another yeah. team, because he just came off of an All Pro season and is in no way declining. He's a young player who wins wins the division, wins playoff games, is in the playoffs every single year, is perfectly capable of putting up big numbers and winning big games and coming, winning from behind. And whatever way you want it, he just doesn't get past to, he's never been to the NFC yeah, Championship game. But that's, why, that's why I love the plan. What is the plan? I don't know what is the plan, <laughs> but the plan is, you just, is... You just feel good about it, though? <laughs> season, <laughs> since Coach Mike got there, season after season after season, we have 12 wins. There's only one team in the NFL that has done that, and that's the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones and his son and whoever else is helping up there with the roster put together a roster every single year to go compete for a championship. You know what happens? You get in the playoffs, Jerry Jones ain't laying no egg. Mm. It's them players out there laying the egg, not Oosh. getting the job done. But when you tell me you have a roster of nine All-Pros on your team, that's well done by management. Did the players deliver, deliver on the football field against the Green Bay Packers? No. But by Jerry and management and scouts and all that, that's a pretty doggone good job. And they have had a really good roster the last five years with the Dallas Cowboys and have not got the job done. But then, then I got to play the, the shady role. Uh-oh. Oh, good luck. Mm. Then who? Why don't, why don't they win, then? Uh, like, the, uh, uh, how, how much better uh, could the roster but so be? So here's my question for you, Joy and Dave. Okay. But my, how much better, what's the problem? No, but here's, here. my, here's my I mean, question here. for both of y'all. This is why I think it's unfair for you all to not trust the plan. Joy, I know fairs for Ferris wheels and some other things. Right, Oreos. Um, and Oreos. Um, but the Texas State fairs for a lot more than just that, for context. <laughs> Texas State fair is fine. How can we say that the Cowboys should have paid Dak first four years ago? And that didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And now we have issue with the fact that they not paying him. Pick one. Because if you wanted them to pay him first four years ago and we saw it didn't work, well, now they're doing the opposite. That's where I'm at, Dave. If, if you try option A and option A didn't work and I criticize you for A, I can't criticize you for B, too. They tried paying them ladder, and now they're like, you know what? Go ahead, Dak. We're just going to let you play it out. Because when they did it last time, it did not work. You can't criticize them both ways. The key to handling financial things in the NFL is just to stay out in front of it. 
my my dumbass gets on here on TV. Remember the last play of the Niners game in the playoffs when they had Zeke blocking a guy? Yeah, Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dumbass got on TV and said, you should extend Dak right now. I know what just happened, but you should extend him because this day is coming. You need to do it right now. I don't care that you lost to the Niners. I don't but speak. you're tethered to him. That's the problem. Then you're tethered to him. Is it easier to be tethered to him when you pay him $50 million, $48 million, and then have that those extra years, or is it easier next year when he balls out again and now the price tag is 60. You see the problem here? Let Cowboys be somebody else's price tag. Cowboys you just keep talking fans, to me about that. Cowboys fans get so mad at me and I apologize to y'all right now cuz I'm going to bring them up. The Philadelphia Eagles. Sure. What are they doing? The minute Jalen Hurts showed that he even could be that guy. And we still have some questions about Jalen, right? We're not no, we're no not doubt. sold that he's the best in the league. No doubt. The minute he showed it, they extended him. They're like, "Here, take your money, Jalen." Devontae Smith, what just happened to him? He got $25 million a year, two years ahead of time. Because why? Because Howie Roseman said, if this guy goes and balls here, again, see, he's going to want 30. You shouldn't have done this, Dave. You shouldn't have done this. I'm happy to you, do you it. You're talking about teams I know too much about, Dude, Coach. Please tell me. Um, our guy Hargrave, he had 10 Save sacks. Yeah. 10 of them. Sure. Let him walk out the door. Hassan Reddick, he's had 10 sacks for four consecutive years on different teams. The only other player to do that is Miles Garrett, four Let straight walk, years with 10 different sacks. Let him walk up out the door. Yeah, yeah. The right guard, when they won, I, I can do this with you all. Let day. him go to the Steelers. Let him walk Let up him out the walk door. Out Zach the door. Ertz likely should have been like a fringe Hall of Famer. They he wanted more bread. They the let him walk up out the door. Chauncey Gardner Johnson ah! led the league in picks through the first 10 weeks. They let him walk up out the door. You got No, no, no. I'm saying is other teams let greats walk up out the door too because you have to at times. Eagles do replace them. I'll hey, give you that. Man. They replace them. <laughs> but the Cowboys have done it thus far too. They let Zeke walk up out the door. They tagged Pollard. They let uh, uh, they didn't let Fre Frederick walk up out the door. Fre Travis Frederick had illnesses. But then Tyler Biotis, four year starter, right up after that. They let Cats walk up out the door and they replace them. You don't see the difference between that and signing Bryce Huff to replace a Hassan Reddick for $51 million? Why did the Eagles let Javon Hargrave walk out the door? Because Howie Roseman negotiated a trade that gave him two first round picks so he could draft Jalen Carter in the top 10, even as a Super Bowl team. You're, the Eagles had a top 10 pick after losing the Super Bowl. There's levels to this, and the Cowboys aren't on that level. They haven't shown that they are in literal decades. It hurts me to say it. Like, I don't say it to rub it in anybody's face. The Cowboys are keeping company with Washington no, in terms no, of teams that haven't been to the no. NFC Championship oh, game. Okay, okay. Oh, you immediately go, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. But that's why I'm saying I don't trust the plan because it's like, what is the plan, first of all? It's hard you're, to you're, win, it, 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 it's, it, it, it is hard. Is. It is hard to win, James. They make it but harder on it, themselves to win. And, Kyle, and Jordan, if it nine, is, nine, pros, so, so. okay, then what's the problem? Can the we, problem is the players not the delivering when the, the players got to deliver. What's the problem? How much better can you be? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say something here. I'm saying. We gotta stop saying nine all pros because they let, they let, no, they let two of them leave this year. Tyron Smith's not there. Stephon Gilmore's not there. But here's why. Here's why. Hold on. Here's why I'm mad at you, Dave. Last year's last year. Man. Here's why I'm mad. We did that. Because we, we did the same got dog thing. Again, not to bring up these Eagles. Miles Sanders rushed for 1300 and they said, we going to see. Uh, actually, it's, actually, it's very unfair. It's very unfair. It's very unfair. It's very unfair. Not words, 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 let's take the word fair. I'm sorry. It is insane for us to compare the Eagles to the Cowboys. The, the Eagles have been to and won a Super Bowl as of late What's and unfair? went back to a Super Bowl. To me, Bowl. the only difference roster-wise, it's not unfair. Oh, Last no, year, I'm, saying, I'm not comparing a team that most recently won a Super Bowl and went back to another Super Bowl to a team who hasn't been to an NFC Championship game in 30 years. That's what I'm not going to really But hold on, hold on then, James. But then you can't compare the Cowboys to nobody. I don't I, like to do that. I don't like is, to compare the Cowboys to teams but, that are going to the Super Bowl. But we're talking about rosters because the Jones' only responsibility as, as general manager owner, that, that as general is manager, it. is roster. I will compare the Dallas Cowboys roster to anybody. Let's well, take if it you back. don't want to compare them to the Niners, well, bet. Well, but well, what do we got, James? What really got? quick. As much as we want to sit here and we want to blame Jerry and we want to blame the coaches and all that, right? Like I said before, I was in Green Bay from 2007 to 2000, Aaron left. 2024. <laughs> Every year, the roster was a really good roster, and you had a chance to win a championship. He won one. We did not deliver when we had to deliver. 
I'm walking out of playoff games like we a thousand times better than this team we just lost to. Coach Mike ain't have nothing to do with that. We did not deliver as players. Trust the Cowboys' plan. That's Jerry and That's those Jerry. boys up top. They have put together a top five roster for you the last ten years five now, years, bro. ten Forever, years, whatever bro. you want to do. The, the players have not they delivered in the biggest moment. Ooh, do I have good. an answer for that? No. But plan-wise for roster, bro. they have put together a dominant roster. Let me get them. Let so me get them. Ask James. me. I'm gonna trust get the plan. Dave, go back even. Go back a decade. Not yeah. even the last five. Okay. Go back a decade, okay. bro. Yeah. Y'all realize the Cowboys rolled a roster out there with Tyron Smith. Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, Jason Witten, Dez Bryant, Cole Beasley, and 1,800-yard rusher DeMarco Murray. The Cowboys stay doing this. They squads are nice. That was so I don't. So and Tony Romo was a quarterback. And, yeah, no, my point is ago. that was 10 years ago. Okay. Cut to five years ago. Then you roll out a roster with Dak Prescott, Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, Cole Beasley, Terrence Williams, uh, Jason Witten, still Ezekiel Elliott. Now cut to last year. Then you roll out a roster with Ceedee Lamb. Brandon Cooks, Jake Ferguson, Tony Pollard coming off another 1,000-yard season, uh, Zach Martin, so Tyler Smith, Tyron Smith. Bro, you can't talk to me about awesome. they playing. They rosters is crazy every single year. Crazy. And Not what, average. And what crazy. what do they have to show for it? No. Not enough. Not, Not have only what are they playoff wins of the last 27 seasons. But Not only what do they have to show for that's it. That's that part, Joy. That part, Joy. That's all I'm saying. Okay, then, that's then all who? I'm saying. All right, well, that's then. That's all I'm saying. We're glad Shady ain't here. Then if Shady was here, I would be the owl. Here, I gotta be the owl. Who? 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 Because if it's not the roster mm. construction, it's not how they don't get aggressive in in the <sighs> off season. It's not how they never draft a quarterback high. It's not the coaching. Okay, it's it's not it's not how the only owner in the entire league speaking to the media every single after every single game is none of that. It's none of the consistent things that they do every single year. Yeah. And it's not the roster because the roster is great. W what is the answer to that? What's the, the answer to that performing. number? No, I, I'll, I'll go. I'll be honest. I'm with Shady on this one, man. Like, to me, it's got to be the quarterback. Now, Joy's right, though. She said it's, it's not about drafting the quarterbacks high. I think it is. The Cowboys have had really good quarterback play. Romo took over in 07? I think 07? 06 season. Yeah. Bet. Yeah. So they've had really good quarterback play for 17 years. Mm -hmm. But they haven't had elite quarterback play. Romo was never top three. No. He was good. He was good. He was good. I love Tony Romo. Tony Romo was crazy, but he wasn't top three. He was all pro once, I believe, in 2014. Dak Prescott's never been top three. Yes, he was on all pro this year, but I'm talking about, let's use common sense, people. I do think it is a quarterback issue. Dak is really good. Romo's really good. Let me good. make sure I got this right. So the Cowboys have to have the best quarterback in the NFL. Top three. Or bro. else, or they're me, not me, good me enough at three. building a team to build. He was second team all pro last year. That does not, Dave, don't you do this on That's TV. quite literally yeah. what it means. That's quite literally what that means. Uh, if you can't get Dave, better. that's lazy. All, that's how lazy. Much better, we, did, we did do this last year, though. I got, that's I got, how lazy. much better? How much? I don't think that Dak Prescott is the second best quarterback. Nobody Neither do I. I'm the people that voted also, for second team what, what all What Dave pro is saying is, How much better do you want? How much better? Unless Patrick Mahomes himself can, for some reason, go there, what else do you well, want? See, I think, I think. The answer lies in the people that are tasked with building no, the team. Uh, it's Dave all is lying. On top of that, it's, he's lying to it's you. It's all, all about playing your best game when your, your best is needed. That's what it's about. Can we agree? Can we agree that last year's Cowboys team massively disappointed? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. And the people that are tasked with but building who did? that who roster. Did? Hold on. Who hold disappointed? Does it who matter? No, no I, hold on, hold on. Who disappointed? Who? All of them. Who I mean, mainly you, disappointed? Dak and the defense. Thank you. And I don't oh, go defense. I no, go Dak. I go was Gilmore. I know, I'm going to put names to it. I ain't got to hide. I'll go Gilmore. He disappointed in the game. I think Bland, he disappointed in the game. Micah, if you're that good, I need to get a couple There's sacks. There's not a person on defense you. That, that you could say, like, earned their keep. So what I'm game. saying is, like, so how you going to blame Steven or Jerry, bro? Because how you going to blame them, bro? Here's how. That's all I'm saying, bro. Because that team fell three wins short of a Super Bowl. And they haven't done anything to make it them, better. Though. It's are the Cowboys objectively worse right now than they were at the end of that season? Names and talent, of course. Yes, sir. It's a nice way of saying yes. Like, I mean, <laughs> they just straight up haven't filled like five holes on that <laughs> roster. And they seem okay with that. Like, like you look at it and you say, this, this was not good enough. 
and we haven't done anything to but amend him, that fact. Bro, they weren't getting better. That's what I'm trying to sit here and tell you, big dog. You not you you can't that roster from last year. You're not improving. I, your third best corner, your best cornerback was hurt. You had a ten pick. <laughs> cornerback who did not play and you still had a cornerback lead the league in picks. I just, you had Diggs. You, you are a linebacker. You don't think they can be better at certain spots on I their team? Think they started the season. Remember, they drafted Overshone in the third round and you started with LVE. LVE had a neck injury. He's done for the year and uh, Overshone had a, a knee injury. But like, they started the season as good as... It's you. very I'm simple. You, go ahead, go ahead, it go doesn't ahead. feel ahead. simple no, no, at so all to me. You don't me. think that this is not in any way... The Cowboys brass is no, responsible to your because, fault. Because it's uh, no, I, I think it's their fault. Not roster-wise. I think it's their fault. Who's fault? I think, I think it's Darius' fault. But not the plan of the roster. Not the plan of the we roster, We get this Troy. deep into the not segment, the and roster. it's Jerry's fault? It Jerry's fault? Uh, Jerry don't make no tackles, what? catch no passes, on, do no, nothing. No, 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 no. He puts the people out there to do that. You're all pro players did not play like all pro players right. in the playoffs. Patrick Mahomes was not an all pro player all year, but when the playoffs came, Travis Kelsey, all them boys play like all pro players. I'm just confused. The Cowboys. They have four playoff wins over the last 27 seasons, right? Yes, 30. We're just going to round it up. <laughs> <laughs> they, they haven't been to the NFC Championship game in almost 30, 30 years. years. <laughs> okay, Dak Prescott. I'm not great at math, although I'm using some numbers now. Has hey, not played yeah. for 30 years. Hey, give Tony him 33%. 33% of it. Did not play. And give Romo for the another. Other... Give him another 33% okay, of that joint. Great. So we need to figure out who's responsible for who's that last. Who's responsible 32. for the other part? <laughs> who the other... And who's responsible for well, those defense, two? Uh, those get two some problems too. Errors, <laughs> because defense too. I'm Ooh. saying like the, if the same thing keeps happening over and over again, I'm a consistency girl. You just keep doing the same thing and telling me that you're different. You're doing the same thing. You lying to my face. You playing to my face. You know, I feel about people that play in my face, Dave. I don't like it. Uh, and I would act playing in everybody's face, it. bro. It's well, just so much. How does this wind up? Roster. James, what I'm, like, what I'm trying to, to what I'm, what I'm trying to, break, to tell Dave. you is that there's you gotta not. Gotta go to break, Dave. Like, it's a good you gotta roster. Break music. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.